William Albert Stanley Burt Oldfield was that rare specimen, a polite, mild-mannered Australian wicketkeeper. He was, in fact, so soft that it was difficult to believe that he was performing the most physically demanding act in cricket. Bert Oldfield was such a gentleman, the age wrote in his obituary, he might have kept wickets in the gloves in which he was married. Harold Larwood, with whom Oldfield shared perhaps the worst memory of his playing days, was all praise, calling Oldfield a real gentleman on and off the field. Oldfield was, perhaps by distance, the greatest stumper the sport has produced. It was not about athleticism or robust energy. The comparison with a surgeon once again comes to mind. He might well have been using a scalpel instead of a pair of gloves. The stumping was executed so neatly that often only one bale was moved. An impressed Don Bradman wrote, I played with Oldfield through a considerable portion of his career and many times have marvelled at his skill. There was about his work a polish far transcending that of the others. Never any suggestion of an early movement, feet always right, hands in perfect position and remarkable speed while stumping, especially on the leg side, off a medium pace bowler. Jack Fingleton wrote in Oldfield's obituary, he was a chirpy, amusing little fellow, and there was no better keeper, even though we have had so many, such as Sammy Carter, whom Oldfield succeeded in the test side, Don Tallon, Gil Langley, Wally Grout, and so on down to Rod Marsh of the present day. A diminutive man of five foot four, he prepared himself meticulously before every innings. Richard Cashman wrote of him in the Australian Dictionary of Biography. Before keeping, he taped his finger joints, which were then covered with stalls and two pairs of chamois inner gloves. Oldfield also studied bowlers in the nets carefully, noted weaknesses of opposition batsmen, and observed carefully the ground and weather conditions. As for his numbers, Oldfield had 52 stumpings from 101 innings in 54 tests. The next on the list, Godfrey Evans, had 46, which took him to 175 innings and 94 tests. Nobody else has gone past the 40 stumpings mark. The chasm is so glaring that the rest did not even feature. His 78 catches took his victim's tally to 130. He was the first wicketkeeper to effect 100 test dismissals. He also became the first wicketkeeper to score a thousand test runs. Despite his efficiency against the champion fast bowlers of his time, Jack Gregory, Ted McDonald and the great Bill O'Reilly, it was with Clary Grimmett that Oldfield forged the greatest pairing of all time. Oldfield had 28 stumpings off Grimmett. Nobody has ever stumped more than 15 times off the same bowler. He also had seven stumpings off Arthur Maley. Terrific amount of success in that match. We were caught on the sticky wicket and we were out for 50 odd in the second innings. The match holds a great amount of sentiment and, uh, and uh, interest for me because it was there that I beat the world's wicket keeping record which Dick Lilly had held from England for 30 years. Oldfield's 52 stumpings is still a record in test cricket.